Hey guys, so this is day six of the 31 Days of Horror, and for today, I yet again found another uh, decent sounding uh, film on Netflix, and it's called Torment, and I was interested in watching this one because it starred Catherine Isabel, who I am a fan of. I've seen her in a lot of things over the years. Now this is a Canadian film from 2013. Uh, it's about Corey and Sarah Morgan. Uh, they're, I guess they're newlyweds, they just got married, and Corey is widowed, and he has a son named Liam. And Liam and Sarah, well Sarah's trying, but Liam's just, he's younger, and um, I guess he's still not over losing his mom, and their relationship is not the greatest, so Corey wants them all to go on a family trip to um, his cabin, their cabin that they own, uh, just for, I guess, a little getaway. And while they're there, you there's some scenes beforehand that show you that shows you there's this uh, group of killers in the area. And they get to the house and they uh, discover that there's leftover food and there have been people in the house while they were away. Well, while they weren't there. And the rest of the film just follows them dealing with this kind of group of masked people. And what's strange is Liam has uh, four big stuffed animals. And it's a pig, a rabbit... A rat and something else I can't remember and the the group of these uh, killers actually cut the heads off the stuffed animals and take out the stuffing out of the heads and wear the uh, head the uh, the heads of the stuffed animals as a uh, mask so that's kind of weird but kind of cool kind of weird and the film has some gore but it's not overly gory and although there's stuff happening just for me personally I don't want to, I really like Catherine Isabel, and her acting was good, and I, I didn't find the acting to be bad in this whatsoever, but I just found the film kind of boring, and I hate to say that, um, but I found it a little bit boring, I mean, there was stuff going on, there was gore, which, I mean, gore, does, good gore does not a good horror film make, but it's interesting to have it. Here's my thing with it, is the killers, and you get, I'm not going to ruin anything, but toward the end you kind of, uh, kind of get an idea what's going on, but they, there's never really an explanation for why these people are doing what they're doing, and I don't know, I just have a problem, like, not every killer is going to have this super fleshed out motivation backstory type thing but at least to know like to know why they're doing what they're doing and it just never you never ever like find out why and I just kind of you get a small sense of why they're doing this but I mean to me it's like uh what is that film <sighs> the strangers which I really don't like that film and it's a remake I haven't seen the original I didn't like that film at all not just because I mean the people in it acted really stupid, and that's partly the reason why I didn't like it, but also just killing for no reason. Like, I just don't, I don't know. That just never sat with me, well with me. And this one also, too, they were kind of stupid, especially uh, Catherine Isabel's character. I mean, she fights back, and she's becomes uh, more of a heroin-type person than you originally think she could be, but she just does really stupid things. She keeps falling... She keeps making noise when, you know, it's like, I just, oh, that drives me crazy. But she does that a lot of this. And, um, yeah, it's just, it was kind of boring to me. I, you didn't even know why they were doing the stuff, like, this group of killers were doing the things they're doing. Yeah, and I just, I didn't jump. I didn't find it creepy. I didn't find it scary. So, I overall gave it a five just because the performances were good. So, I can't say it was due to back to acting or whatever. 
But overall, it just wasn't anything great. It wasn't anything I'd recommend to somebody to watch because there's better out there. So yeah, that was my review of Torment. I wish I could have uh, said better things about it, but yeah. And yeah, that's day six of 31 Days of Horror, and thank you so much for watching.